What's up guys, uh, Randy here, just got out of the gym and uh, I wanted to just talk to you about the theory of the one push-up and uh, this takes me back to when I was 15 years old guys. I remember when I first started to work out and I first started trying to figure out how to get back into shape. Um, I started with one push-up, right, meaning I couldn't do any more than one at a time and so you know, I felt helpless, I felt weak, I felt like I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do, right? So in, in order to get in shape, you know, I wanted to run two, three miles, I wanted to be, to be able to do at least 25 push-ups at one time and uh, basically, you know, get back into shape. Well, lately guys, I've been going to CrossFit and uh, basically uh, at CrossFit guys, I'm being, you know, pushed to my limits. You know, I thought I was in good shape till I got here. And uh, let me tell you, like, everybody's in better shape than me. The girls, the, 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 the kids, the, the guys, everybody outruns me, out pushes weight, more, more weight than me. And uh, the reason for that, guys, is because it doesn't matter like, that you can push 500 pounds, right? If you, let's say, sprint and then try to lift that same amount of weight, you ain't going to be able to do it because you're tired. And so it's a different type of workout. It's a different type of uh, uh, push, right? And so it makes you an athlete. But basically, guys, what I want to just let you guys know is that I'm in your shoes, right? I put myself in your shoes once again. If you're just now trying to get back into shape and, you know, maybe you can't do any push-ups or you can't run a mile or you can't do a pull-up or you can't do much in the gym, you know, don't, don't give up. Right. And that's the one thing I can say that I've learned throughout the years, because just like when I started with one push up, I didn't give up. And then I was able to do two push ups. And then nowadays I can do up to 100 push ups nonstop. Right. But yet I still now am being challenged by being in a place that pushes me to my limits. So I feel like I'm back in that one push up a uh, day. Right. Where I couldn't do more than one push up. And so the theory continues it doesn't matter there's levels to it right you want to be an athlete you start working out with athlete athletes you realize that you're not in the best shape you could be and so you can only get better and so my my advice to you is don't compare yourself to other people around you right because i don't care who lifts more than me i don't care who goes and is able to run more than me that's irrelevant i know that i'm getting better i know that i'm getting stronger and i know that i'm better than I was yesterday, right? And that is all you should be striving to do. So today I can do 100 push-ups. When I was 15, I could only do one. And so now I see that I'm getting stronger and so I continue that path. No matter who's in better shape than me, there's always gonna be someone in better shape than you. It's just the way life is. When you think you're a badass, there's someone even badder, you know, badder than you. And so take that to heart, guys. Compete with yourself. Push yourself because you are trying to get better and because you know you're getting better. And with that being said, guys, that's my version of the one push theory. Thank you. <laughs>